If you want to transfer data from your iPhone to iPad using cables, let's see that. I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Everything works fine for large file transferring too. So don't skip any part. First way, if your iPad charging port was USB-C, you need this USB-C to HDMI adapter. I'm using Amazon Basics. You can buy any brand. If it is a lightning port, you need this lightning to camera adapter. You can use any brand. For now, I'm using Apple. You can use any MFI certified adapter. It doesn't matter. Then second thing, if your iPhone charging port was lightning, you need this USB-C to lightning charging cable. If your iPhone charging port was USB-C, you need this USB-C to USB-A charging cable. I will give this all four product link, Amazon link in the description. If you want, you can buy that. Okay, my iPad charging port was USB-C. So I'm going to use this USB-C to HDMI adapter. My iPhone charging port was Lightning. So I'm going to use this Lightning to USB-A charging cable. So, first take the charging cable. I just connect this lightning end to my iPhone charging port. Then, I just connect this USB in to this adapter USB port. And I just directly connect this USB-C port to my iPad. Okay, now just open the Photos app and came to the album and here also open the Photos app and came to the album. Yeah, you just need to don't do disconnect or connect anything. Just wait, open the Photos app on both devices and wait for this. When you see this trust option, just click trust and enter your iPhone's lock screen passcode okay now on your ipad you can see new option devices just tap that so here you can see show all so here you can see all your iphone photos and videos so just like that it's like a mirror if you want to select manually you just need to select and click import in case if you want to select all the photos and videos means click import all and import import all so here you can see all the photos and videos are transferring from iphone to ipad here you can see the rendering process so in case if you want to stop unexpectedly you can use this option so it's on yeah it's done so after you transferred if you want to delete the transferred photos and videos on iphone you can choose delete in case if you want to keep you just need to click keep for now i just click keep so that's it it's done so i just disconnect this now reason days here you can see here you can see the transferred photos and videos saved today so this is how you need to do and in case if you want to transfer the photos and videos from files app to your ipad before you do the connection just open files and open the folder you want to transfer the photos and videos for now i just open this and click this circle and select and select the photos and videos only and click the share button swipe up then click save images or save option that's it now it will be transferred to the photos app so it will appear on the page when you connect so this is how we need to do and second way if your ipad charging port and iphone charging port was usb-c you need this USB-C to USB-C charging cable. In case if any one device was lightning, you need this lightning to USB-C charging cable. 
i will give this product link also amazon link in the description so for me my ipad was usb c and iphone was lightning so i am going to use this lightning to usb c so first i connect this lightning into the iphone then connect this usb into ipad and open the photos app and came to album and here also open the photos app so came to this page now just wait yeah test and same everything same so i just click this now you can see everything was seen here here you can see the files of photos also so this is how we need to do and if you want to know more videos about this file transferring watch these videos